The city of Lansing's $20 million budget hole has prompted Mayor Verge Bernero to call for significant cuts to police and fire services. More than 100 public safety officers could lose their jobs. These cuts have the potential to change uh, really the service, the, the quality of service in Lansing and uh, potentially the quality of life. Well, as usual, if you need anything, you let me know, okay? Popular crime prevention programs like community policing could be eliminated. Well, my spot difference from the regular patrol um, as a community policing officer, I'm assigned to a certain geographical area and I interact um, with the people in my community more frequently um, based on the fact that I have a little bit more time to do that. Um, the road officers, on the other hand, are constantly just are, are going from call to call, from report to report. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder says communities should work more closely together to provide services. He's sharply cut back the amount of money the state shares with local governments and says communities that start planning for consolidation would get more state funds. Statutory revenue sharing is a discretionary program of state government. It could be zero. It's not zero. The governor's cut it. But, not, but retained it and said, look, we've got to use it as a carrot uh, to, to encourage the best practices. But repeat efforts to get local governments to share costs and services have been largely unsuccessful. My experience has been that scarcity doesn't bring people together. And if you look at world history, scarcity often leads to conflict rather than cooperation. Bernero is supporting a plan to raise the city's millage rate by four points, a move he says would protect at least some public safety jobs. Well, I can tell you this, I know that everybody comes out here every day, um, works very hard at what they do, and answers several calls for service a day. We're extremely busy as it is, and if we uh, experience the budget cuts that we're supposed to get, I know that it's going to make it extremely hard to uh, continue the service that we now provide. For WKAR Public Media, I'm Rob Sound.